Mm. He didn't make it. Bet you that smelled sweet while he was decaying. But we're going to clean up these panels today. Look at it. We're also, not today, but we're going to try to get him a UV light. Yeah, we're going to try to clean up all that discoloration for him. Alright, we're going to be using the Viper coil cleaner in the aerosol can today. This can be used for condensers or evaporators, but we're going to be using it to clean the panel insulation. So I really like this stuff. The foam really expands and the can seems to go a long way. I've used this, I don't know, four or five times just on evaporators. I haven't used it on condensers yet. It seems to work really good and I probably still have at least half a can left. So uh, I really like the way it sprays and um, how it cleans. So let's give it a try. This foam's not going to get it really wet, but it's going to clean it a lot. So we're just going to get it all up and down there. You can see it already bringing that dirt out. process all the way around all right well that's looking a whole lot better yes sir oh, we still got to get this little guy out of here Eek. and we'll wipe up there too where he was laying the coil in the pan out with some water. It should be good. A lot cleaner than it was. All right guys, next up we got a condenser motor and two air handler breakers to replace in Ocean City. Let's get going. All right, here is the one we're putting the motor in. Right here, they got a Goodman, I think for the upstairs. Yeah, Goodman for upstairs, American Standard for down. I gotta show you guys something. This is the the motor, the box. Look how big this box is for a motor. There's little tiny motors in there. I don't know why they sent a box this daggone big for this tiny little motor, but it's an awful lot of box for just a little motor. All right, let's get that opened up, get this motor replaced. All right. So, we got the power off. It's dead. Um, one of our wires goes here to our defrost board relay. And then we have one that goes to contactor. I mean, I'm sorry, capacitor. And then capacitor. So, it's a three wire. Um, they only gave me a single cap. The same motor. Okay, well, they gave me the wrong cap. So I'll probably just replace the 30 by 5 they have here 
and just return this seven and a half. I have no idea why they gave me this. That's weird. All right, so now that we're unwired, wiring goes, goes right through there and that piece of seal tight. Let's, uh, let's get it out. I already got the screws out. Look at this, it's like a bag or something got caught up. That's weird. That's exactly what that looks like. A bag got caught up in it and it probably burnt it up. Oh yeah, that's tight. She's tight. I like these little short shafts because I don't gotta do much to get them out of there. But we are right on the ocean here. Well, we have a little channel that runs through right here, but um, so we probably have some excessive, excessive rusting here. Corrosion. Hit her with the croil. Put that sit in there. Now we'll get the set screw too. As soon as I loosened it up, she started to move downward. It's almost like someone had this off already. Yeah, that was easy. Well, three of the four bolts rung off on me. Piece of shit. All right. Let's get the new motor over here. We'll have to come up with some screws for it. Where we put that at? Over here. Yeah. Those don't even look tapped. This is weird. Wait a minute. Those screw holes aren't even tapped. They're just holes. What? That's weird. Where's my old motor? I guess you just tap them yourself. I don't know, help me out guys. I've never seen one that wasn't tapped before for a screw, it's just a hole. You guys can see that. There's no threads there in these little holes here. That makes it easier for me because I can use any kind of screw I want. So it's not lining up with those holes anyway. So, you guys look. Oh, yeah, never mind. Yes, it is. I, I didn't think they were lining up at first, but they are. So, we just gotta get some screws to lock that baby down. Didn't look like they were lining up at first, but... Alright, we'll get some screws to lock that baby down. I just got four of these guys. Where it's just aluminum, they tapped pretty easy. Bam. Alright. Flip it over, put the blade on. All right, we got our motor set in. This was a little bit of a pain getting my conduit back through, but we got her. I had to pop the whole lid off to fish it through, but it is what it is. Just gotta lock our screws back down, wire it up. All right, we got our new 30 by five in there. Got those wired, we'll just land our fan wires, which one is gonna go back to our defrost board. One is going to go, our purple is gonna go to our common side of our capacitor. And then our brown is gonna go to our fan side of our capacitor. Let's just take our needle nose and lock those down a little better. All right, everything wired up, zip tied. Let's just bump the contactor to make sure this thing works. Sure does. All right. Don't like the sound it's making. That's weird. That noise is coming from that little brown gasket protector piece that protects any weather from getting inside the, the motor shaft. So it's really nothing to be concerned about. Sometimes if it's too loud, I will bump them up a little bit. 
so they're not riding on there but it'll eventually stop once it wears in a little bit but that's what that noise comes from if you ever hear that all right well here is where i wish kenny was with me to flip breakers while i'm checking but he's doing a large pm today with another crew so we're gonna go under here you know what is this even Okay, so this is the Goodman unit underneath here. I just want to double check to make sure I have the right one. Yeah, it is the Goodman one. And what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to turn off all the ones that say furnace. 22-24. That way. Save me some time. So 26, 20, 26, 28 says water heater, 30, 32. That's that, it's pro that probably is one because it's a 60. 38, 40, this guy. So I mean, I got off so far three and 29, 31 says furnace. So that's that one. So we got off two 60s, a 40 and a 30. 2022 yes, he's, work's been done to this panel I'm going to turn off this guy too because it would make more sense that that one was this, the other circuit so alright not going to there we'll see make sure we got up no power All right. here is our breakers it's a 25 and a 60 Let's just check our main power coming in. That's dead. And that's dead too. All right. It would help if they had a disconnect underneath here besides these breakers, but you know, this does fly around here, so that's okay. Um, yeah, they're in rough shape. They're in really rough shape. I probably won't even get those screws on tight. No, I just have to cut the wire and strip back. All right, let's get busy. Yeah, I, I tried to just strip it back. No dice. So we're going to cut. Cut. Probably going to have to use the linemans on those big guys. Cut. Cut. All right. My main voltage is cut. I'm already seeing these ones are going to connect a little bit different than my new ones are. I'm not sure how much of a problem that's going to be. We're going to find out. Take this off. Take this off. All right, so that top one's free. See, so yeah, this, the old ones connect with screws. The new ones, I believe, do not. But I might be able to take those clips. I see they it popped off pretty easy. I might be able to take those clips. Try to unloosen these ones. These ones don't look nearly as corroded. Yeah, it just busted right off there. All right, so yeah, so those ones, those ones at least loosened on me. Come on out of there. All right, sweet. We'll unscrew those ones. Unscrew that. Keep that screw. Yeah, see those clips right there. I think I can pop those off and reuse those on my new breakers, which is right here. Yeah, sweet. All right, I'll just have to unscrew those off there. All right, let's get those off. We'll put them on our new ones. This should be pretty straightforward. 
All right, yeah, you see those new clips just slid right on our new breakers. Very cool. All right, so before we put those on, we're going to take and strip all our wiring back so at least the breakers aren't in our way when we're doing that. Okay, so that's for our 30 amp. And then I should have brought a razor knife under for these guys. I got a pocket knife on me. Yep. One. All right, now we'll get our new breakers put in. Hope you guys can see okay. If we don't mount it first. that guy on. All right, that side's done. Right. <clears throat> so that is one side. And now where's our 60? What'd you get to? Like this. Alright, we'll get this guy mounted.
sneak this guy in there. side now let's get our line side these wires are a lot more stiff and harder to get in there but still doable Oh, there we go. It just needed to be a little tiny bit looser. I want to be careful though. I don't want the the log to fall out. tight as you can get it guys you can never go too tight with electrical stuff all right I think that's it she's in there everything's tight everything's good now coming out let's turn them on and we'll test everything all right, let's see here. Two forty three going out. Two forty three coming in. Where's my two forty three over here? Well, that's a little bit all over the place. Is that me? Was weird I didn't have full voltage coming out but I do now maybe it was some, maybe the breaker wasn't because when I first got this one it was tripped sometimes when you get breakers they you know they're they're tripped out of the box but so that might have been it I don't know maybe I didn't throw it back on right 
Alright, there's our motor running. We're in good shape, guys. Alright guys, we're headed to one now where they're saying the fan is constantly running, but the unit's not heating. I looked up the equipment. We've been there a couple times before. It's a York gas package unit. So chances are it's out on some sort of air. Maybe a rollout switch or a high limit, keeping the fan on. So uh, we're on our way there now. Let's take a look. All right, like I said, York gas pack. We got a dog barking over there. Hope he doesn't do that the whole time. Manufactured 2011, three tons, 72,000 BTU furnace. Let's open it up, see what happens. Rollout switch. So this upper one. So I'll probably have to cycle power now. Let me just see if there's any other rollout switches. Sometimes they'll have two rollouts. Roll out in a high limit. All right, let's just do this number here. Disconnect the board. All right, so I just dropped 24 volts. I'll put it back. standard flash which is called a heartbeat which is normal operation all right let's see why this thing rolled out see though is this that could have very easily pulled into our blower right there and caused a problem <clears throat> so we'll fix this we'll tape that panel down we're going to take this spray adhesive Push it down and tape it. All right, we got our tape back down. We can put this panel back on. That'll help it so it doesn't pull into the blower wheel. 
I popped the top off because I wanted to take a peek at everything. <coughs> Looks like we have a... This panel has been removed, it, or the insulation on the ceiling of the unit has been replaced or re removed. This piece is loose. Let's just take a peek inside the supply. Adhesived that piece of insulation, so that's not going to be an issue later. Everything's looking clear though. It didn't really seem like a lot of flame rollout, so we'll take a temp split. Make sure this thing's not overheating. I'm thinking that was our issue, was that insulation pulling into the blower. Alright, so where are we at with the heat rise? Alright, so our heat rise needs to be between 30 and 60. Let's see where we're at. Alright, so we're at... So 47, 71 supply, 18, or I'm sorry, 119 supply, 71 return. We'll let that run, but if it stays there or even goes up a little bit, I think we're fine. We got 12, 13 degrees to play with here before we even start considering an issue. One thing I am noticing where that panel insulation on the ceiling of the unit's been removed. I do have some air escaping through. I can feel it. So I might see either silicone that or put something there to block that air from coming over here. Because that could help warm it up in here too. Not really sure what that limit switch is really set at. back up I'm gonna put some some foam tape some foam core tape going along there and make a gasket so it doesn't doesn't blow so much air in our electrical compartment all right so I put two pieces there doubled up on it that should make a good good solid seal all right yeah we don't have any more air coming in now all right I think we fixed this one guys <laughs> 